Hi guys, Joseph here. Today we're doing another Joseph car video and today we're doing another video on my 2002 Volvo V70 and today we're doing a film that I've sort of done before but obviously this is a redo to an old film which is about the hidden DTCS menu. Well, this specific menu tells you which modules have diagnostic trouble codes it's not going to give you an exact code, but it's just going to tell you that a module has a code. So all is that's all this menu really does. Obviously, there are some important modules you don't want to have a codes in, and this mod this menu could be very helpful when you go to inspect the used P2 Volvo. But anyway, guys, let's get down to the car right now. Right, guys, for the hidden DTC menu. You need to have the ignition in the run position or start the engine. You can have it in either this position or you can start it if you like. I'm just going to start it and make it easier. You don't have to start your engine. But anyway. Right guys, what you would do, you start off by hold read. And I've got another screen. Double tap the rear. So right, what you do is... Press read again and double tap the rear fog light to get checking DTCS and DTCS in vehicle. Let's add another camera on just to show you that to make that a bit easier. If it's in a left hand drive, it'd have been easier because I could sort of have it in one screen. The, 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 the button there and the headlight switch is there, but in a right hand drive, it's not as easy. But anyway, you will. You have the read button, you scroll through the menu. So this says DTCS in vehicle, diagnostic trouble code stored in. I'm pretty sure if, if all modules have got now, I'm pretty sure there is a no, then it would show that. I'm pretty sure you would see. And I think vehicle might end up down there. I'm, you'll have to quote me on that one. Yeah. But anyway, to scroll through it, you'll press read and and it comes up with a list of modules. With each module, you'll scroll through a module each time you one click scroll through one module. So obviously you press, the. now you've got a module come up, which is the brake control module. That's the module name and it'll be something. In here, my case here, it says checking. Checking means you've got to drive the car to like a certain speed or some other things you have to perform a specific check for it to actually come up with it for this one you actually have to drive the car for it to come up ready or de or set if it says ready it's got no faults or if it says DTC set there's an error there let's get you on to the next module which is supplementary restraint system that says ready you notice that means all the performing checks are all done and there's no fault so that's ready or sometimes depends on what configuration sometimes you might see SAS that means steering angle sensor that's actually the clock spring steering angle sensor so that's a steering angle sensor if that says DTC set, that's snapper likely. So SRS ready. If you press read again, it's it's a engine control module. Well, that depends on whether your car's a manual or automatic. Because here, if your car's an automatic, you'll have TCM, which stands for transmission control module. That is basically only in automatic cars. <coughs> Well, automatic cars, you really don't want DTC set in the auto trans. If it does, it's normally something quite serious. And actually, if it does say DTC set on a car you're looking to buy, I would walk away from it. Actually, I nearly bought an XC90. Is actually, I was going to get an XC90. And I opened that menu up and it said TCM DTC set. 
I just walked away from it. I didn't bother with the car because I just couldn't be bothered with it. So I just walked off. I just wouldn't want to buy the car because of it. So, well, that's, if it says DTC set, some error has happened. They didn't advertise transmission issues. So what they're trying to do is basically pull a wool over your eye, basically. But yeah, if you look into that, there's no hiding. You do need a reader to get exact stuff. Obviously, I'm on the engine control module, which says checking. So that says checking, so there's nothing wrong with that. Well, actually, there is, guys. That's a lie. Well, it's because I just cleared all the faults as I just replaced the passenger door mod, so I cleared all the fault codes. But that normally comes back to DTC set, that one. And there's always been an engine light on this for a catalytic converter, so... So the next module anyway is audio module. That's basically a radio. No, I'm not really worried about that one. And the reason that says DTC set is because I've actually got an auxiliary player in there. And that's actually why that's set. But that doesn't really worry me. If I took the aux player out, I could get that back to ready. So that don't concern me. Let's get on to the next module, which is the central electronic module. Well, DTC set really depends. If the car drives all right, I'll probably consider it because it's likely something minor or not even a problem sometimes. If people are fixing issues over the years and not clearing the codes, they'll always be stored there. But anyway, that's the central electronic module. The next one is the driver information module. That's basically the cluster in front of you. Directly the thing in front of you. Driver info module. Driver's door module. That's basically a window switch. There it doesn't really matter if there's a small error code there. That really don't matter too much. Well, sometimes you can have superior errors where the window will still work fine, but you can have a fault code stored there. Well, I actually just replaced this master switch on this side with one from the scratcher because this broke on my original one. Yeah, so that's basically all the window switch. That's the driver's door module. Again, doesn't matter too much about a DTC there, if there isn't in mind. The next one is the climate control module. Well, that could be a number of things. In my case, it's an air quality sensor, guys, but only because I plugged a, a reader into this, but a, a, any reader that can read module codes will tell you the same sort of thing. So that don't worry me. Passenger door module, that just checking. That's actually the passenger window. Again, I wouldn't be concerned about a code stored there. As long as everything works fine, I wouldn't be concerned by that. The next one is the rear electronic module. That's the computer on the left rear of the car. That actually works in conjunction with the CEM, Central Electronic Module. And then a module after that is the steering wheel module. It depends on the configuration of the car, so it might not always necessarily be the same modules. That's your steering wheel module. So that's just the steering wheel module sits between the indicator stalks which also holds the clock spring. So that's another module. And then the final one on this car is the upper electronic module. That is your rear view mirror, controls your dome lights or interior lights, all your electronics up the top of the car and your alarm, which controls this motion sensor in the center, movement sensor. And that's it for this car. There's not really more on this vehicle. But different specifications will have different modules. Other modules you will see on some is RTI, road traffic information. That's if you've got a sat nav sat on the top. Another one you will see is PSM, is power seat module. I do have one retrofitted to it because it's not in the configuration. It doesn't actually show in there. But yeah, I've got an electric seat. A, a DTC set there really wouldn't be a concern, as long as it works all right. RTI, I don't have much of a comment on because I've never had a Volvo with RTI, so I wouldn't fully know on that one. 
the TCM is the transmission control module that will only be found on automatic cars that I'd say is a bit expensive so a transmission one I'd be concerned if that said DTC set another module which is on all-wheel drive Volvos is a DEM differential electronic module that says DTC set I'll be concerned because they're expensive modules because there's a lot guys what I'm actually gonna do is I'll make a list up for you guys and I'll put it in the description because there's a lot to go through on these but anyway what I'm gonna quickly go and do is I will show you how to check the brake control module I'll demonstrate but I find somewhere to show you guys so I'm gonna pause here another example of a module check where you need to drive the vehicle we're on the brake control module and to get this one to go to ready you need to drive the car a bit so I'm just gonna drive forward here and I've seen where I can move it yeah here we go I just had to cancel that phone call There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's all, just to get that to go to ready. Right, guys, one quick note. BCM in 2001 and older vehicles is actually ABS. Just that, to, since it's gone to ready, obviously the others, actually my engine light's on, so I've got ECM DTC set. Audio module set. Yeah, CEM's pretty much always checking. Driver's information module. DDM's checking. It's climate control module, set always. Passenger door module's checking. Rear electronic module, checking. Steering wheel module, checking. And uh, ready, upper electronic module's checking. Yeah, pretty much the brake control module's one that you have to drive the vehicle for it to complete its check. Anyway, now we're gonna pause and go off and end off this video. Right guys, we're gonna end off this video and a few quick things to mention with this menu. Obviously, I think I've run through this before. DTC set, a code is set for that module. Checking, an additional procedure is needed to verify if codes are set for this module, or sometimes. Also means no code stored. Yeah, that's correct. But is this one you don't you're not really gonna see very often unless you've got a, a serious problem. If you see not checked, that means the module is not present in the vehicle or there is a, a communicational issue in the network area to that module. So really if you do see not checked, it could be quite serious. So that's one that you, I don't, I've never seen any other people mention that one. But if you like to see like DDM not checked, well, you're not going to have an outside temperature. But obviously, that would be quite obvious. But obviously, other things, any module, so it likely says not checked, likely means it could either be missing from the vehicle or the module was totally fouled to a point where the car doesn't detect it. But not checked is not a good one to have. Obviously, the, the last one is ready, which means no code set for that module. Everything is fine. Obviously, a few codes I would definitely be wary of. Like, brake control module. Well, these have, are more expensive, but it depends on what it is. The um, ATM will not show in the DTC menu. As Volvo hid the problem, Volvo tried to hide issues with Magneti Morelli throttle body. So, well, from what I've noticed, that module never shows up in the DTC menu. REM, well, could be expensive, depends on what it is. Steering angle sensor, SAS, likely just means that clock springs foul. Just make sure you're getting an SAS from not the correct year of vehicle and you should be fine with that or get a new one. SRS, well, that depends as well. SUM, yes, I'd say that's quite expensive. Obviously, 
steering angle sensors, steering angle sensor. That only applies to cars with DSTC. Does mm. not apply to STC. If your car has STC, it doesn't have an angle sensor. And obviously, tra TCM, transmission control module. That's quite expensive. I would just walk away from the car if it does say TCM DTC set. I actually did that. I found for sale a 2006 mm. Volvo XC90. Went to have a look at it. It said TCM DTC set. I walked away from the car and never bought it because that could be quite expensive. Also, other things that could cause that to go set is if the transmission lock-up function slips in fifth gear and it causes it to lock in fourth gear. I'll just don't buy or you could negotiate. But generally, I would steer clear of it. Yeah, the DTC menu can be helpful. It's not going to give you exact codes. If you want exact codes... You're obviously going to actually have to connect a, a diagnostic device up if you really want like Vida or something that can read the CEM and stuff like that. But anyway guys, all lists of modules will be in the description. These are all P2 modules. Yeah, I'm not including modules that are not related to P2. I did make a complete list. Obviously, there's quite a lot of modules on the P2 Volvos. Obviously, 2000 to 2001 uses ABS and then from 2002 up it's BCM for the brake control module but anyway I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give give this video a thumbs up as that helps YouTube recommend my content subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content like this share this video with your family and your friends and have a nice day